Let's make a night mode for Excel. Check that out. Click checkbox, get night mode, click it again, and we're back. And the best part about this, it requires no VBA and no macros, no coding at all. But if you want to learn macros and VBA and how to automate Excel, I have a full course on that on my website, and I put a link to it below this video. So check that out if you want to automate Excel and save hours of time. But now, let me show you how to make a night mode for Excel. I'm going to go ahead and clear everything out, and we'll start fresh. Here we have our basic worksheet, and the very first thing to do is to give it a checkbox. For that, we need the Developer tab. If you don't see that right there, or right-click that guy and go to Customize the Ribbon. And over here on the right, put a check next to Developer, and hit OK. Then go to Developer, and Insert Form Controls. Click the checkbox, and let's put this guy up here on the right. Click where you want it, and I'm going to zoom in so it's a little easier to see. We can right-click this guy and go to Edit Text, and let's delete that, and just put Night Mode in there. And then what we want to do is right-click this and go to Format Control, so it'll be a little bit easier to see when we go into Night Mode. And on Color and Lines, Fill, click No Fill, and let's just put that at a nice little light gray. Hit OK. And the very next thing, Right-click that guy again, go to Format, Control, and we want to make sure that it outputs a value in a specific cell. So we can go to the Control tab. We didn't actually need to leave this window after we added the color, but I wanted to show you how to get here by right-clicking because you may not add the color. So on the Control tab, go to Cell Link, and let's get this guy out of the way, and just click the cell where you want the value of the checkbox to be placed. The value is going to be true, false. We can hit enter and OK. And click away from the checkbox. Click that guy. We have true. Click it again. We have false. And I'm going to right click this and make it. Let's try and get him right there. OK. And move it over so we can cover that guy and make it look a little bit nicer. All right. Now, how do we make this work? Because if I click the checkbox now, nothing is going to happen. And this is so beautifully simple. Conditional formatting. Hit Control A a few times until you've selected all of the cells, then Home tab, Conditional Formatting, and go to a New Rule. Then use a formula to determine which cells to format. Click in here, and all we have to do is to select the cell that we linked to the checkbox. So I'm going to go over here and just click under the checkbox and then hit the up arrow key to go to that cell, which is N1, or just type it in here. Then go and click Format and go to the Fill tab. So what do we want the background color to be? Well, let's make it black and then go to Font. And what do you want the text color to be? Click Automatic and set it to white. Hit OK. Hit OK. And now click the checkbox and you have night mode. And this little guy is being stubborn since my screen recorder is on, but there we go. Once we do something, it'll be all black. And when we click it again, it will go away. There we go. But now we have done that and let's make it look exactly like I did before. So I removed the formula bar and I removed the headings, and I made that guy small. So uh, that way, we can go into night mode, and it's quite nice. And for the dark interface, file, then uh, options, and in the general section, go right here to uh, personalize, and for office theme, go from use system setting to black or dark gray. Then hit OK, and there we go. And that's all there is to night mode in Excel without any VBA. Remember, if you do want to learn how to use VBA or send emails from Excel, make PDFs, automate your workflow and your user inputs and exports, 
then check out my full VBA course for Excel. It's going to save you hours of time every single week. And I'll put a link to that below this video.